Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming review of HTC Desire 12 Plus smartphone. It comes with 1.3 GHz MediaTek processor, Power VR GPU, 3 GB RAM, 5.5 inch, 720p HD screen and Android Nougat OS. So let's play a few of the most high-end heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting and then let's see how good our device is going to perform. So let's just start it. So these are the games that we got for today and right now the battery percentage is 100 as you can see here. So we will also check how much battery is going to be consumed after this gaming review. So let's just start first of all with uh, Modern Combat 5. So the volume is full now. It's not so loud. And here I am going to select the FPS limit as 60 and the graphic quality selected as optimal. I cannot make any change here. And the volume is full here as well. But still it's coming a bit low from the speaker. So let's play the game and let's see how good our Desire 12 is going to perform. So you can see it's Confirm lagging a bit location. at 60 FPS. The graphics quality is looking still good considering the hardware specs of the device and considering the fact that we are playing this game on 60 fps it's not lagging much or not lots of frame drops are happening so it's quite good there was a frame drop just now So camera angles are changing quite smoothly as you can see even on 60 fps graphics quality is looking good as well even though it comes with power VR GPU and quad core processor and there is not much lagging or frame drops happening even though when we are playing this game on 60 fps on an entry level budget smartphone actually. So now let's play some other games let's play Injustice 2. So if you go to the settings here you can see that the sound volume and music volume is selected as high but still it's very low. The audio quality is good but the loudness is really really low. So if you're going to play some high end games on your Desire 12 then it would be better if you use the earphones to enjoy it fully. You can see that it's lagging a bit here. Some frame drops are happening as well. Lots of frame drops actually.
the graphics quality is good but lots of lagging and frame drops are happening as you can see here clearly the graphics quality is really nice So you can see once again that the device was lagging a bit, gameplay was not so smooth, some frame drops here and there and also some lagging, but the graphic quality was good for sure. And now let's play Shadowgun Legends, it's also one of the most high end heavy graphics game and it runs on 60 FPS as well. So the graphics quality FPS is selected as 60 FPS and I'm going to select graphics detail as high and then we will see how good our desire 12 is going to perform you can see it's stuck a bit after pressing yes it's taking some time and also sometimes it's taking time in loading the game okay, so here we go So you can see that it's lagging a bit for sure and some frame drops are also happening. Also while changing the camera angle. So you can see it's lagging a bit for sure. Also while changing the camera angles, the graphics quality is great as you can see because we have selected the highest possible graphics setting on 60 FPS. So graphics quality is great, but because of that, it's lagging a lot. It's not smooth. And I'm not able to play the game at all because of this lagging. Okay, I'm dead already. So you can see that how bad is the gameplay was high graphics setting and on 60 FPS. So I'm just going to reduce the graphics quality here. So it took me nearly 2 minutes to reach on this screen when I selected to go back to the hub. So if you are going to play a very high and heavy graphics game, you can assume that it will take some time in switching between the options and everything as well. So I'm just going to reduce the graphics quality, I'm just going to select auto. I was not even on ultra high as you can see. And now let's play the game once again. So you can see now the gameplay is pretty smooth, not much frame drops or lagging is happening, it's looking quite a smooth here. And I'm dead again as you can see here, but the gameplay was looking pretty smooth. 
camera angles are changing smoothly as well compared to what we were seeing earlier So I'm not so good in playing this game. Now let's play something else. Let's play Dead Warfare. So you can see that the graphics quality is really nice on Dead Warfare here. Everything is looking quite good, nice and smooth. The graphics quality is good and there is no frame drop or lagging as well. So you can see that graphics quality is really nice and gameplay is very smooth as well on Dead Warfare 2. So now let's play the last game for today. So Sky Force Reloaded is also one of the most high and heavy graphics game. You can see that how nice is the graphics quality of this game. You can see how nice is the graphics quality in the background and the gameplay is nice and smooth as well. And it also gives the idea about the touch screen sensitivity of the device and you can see that it's performing quite good here for sure. So everything is looking nice and smooth while playing this game on Desire 12. Especially the graphics quality is really nice. There is not much lagging or frame drops. As you can see it's quite smooth. Now it's a bit uh, lagging or you can say the graphics quality is not so great. Right now, when lots of objects are there on the screen and lots of things are happening. And here we go. So now you got the idea about the gaming capability of Desire 12 that 
it can run most of the high-end heavy graphics game but on low graphics setting if you are going to play them on heavy graphics then there will be lagging or frame drops as we have seen especially on shadow and legends and justice 2 we have seen lots of frame drops and lagging was happening it was quite smooth on modern combat 5 even on 60 fps especially on dead warfare 2 it was really nice smooth and the graphics quality was good as well and also on sky force reloaded so it's kind of mixed performance but you need to keep one thing in mind that this is a budget smartphone it doesn't come with high-end hardware so obviously the heavy graphics game won't run as smoothly as like the high-end smartphones but for casual gamers this is a good device and you can play most of the high-end games on low graphics setting smoothly and easily and talking about the battery if you go here you can see that battery moved from 100 to 87 percent after playing all of these games for nearly 40 minutes so you can see that in last 45 minutes this is what happened the battery moved from 100 to 87 percent so now you get the idea about the battery performance of the device as well while playing high-end games and the best part is that the device is not hot at all even though we were playing high-end heavy graphics games since last nearly 40 minutes it's looking pretty normal so that's all for now friends thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.